Hey, what's up my Koop Troop, it's Koops, and welcome back guys to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duelist Soul. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to leave a like if you have been enjoying, it helps me out greatly and I always appreciate it. Now we're moving on to Taya after defeating, soundly Tristan Taylor, it's time for Taya Gardner. You really want to duel with me? Me? Wow, okay, I'm gonna make you sorry you ever met me. Okay, I'm ready, let's start this battle. Alright, let's go ahead and do this, and I won again because I'm awesome. Let's go second to go this time. The reason I like going second is because I can actually start attacking, but first isn't bad either. You can lay down a defensive card and go that route. So draw, Taya is going to throw down a card in defensive mode. Alright. What do we have here? Looks like we have a bunch of... Uh, eh, uh, summon Skull, that's one good one. Alright, so we do have Summon Skull in here. Sparks, I believe, does like 200 damage. Yep. Okay. So you can use that at any time to do 200 direct damage to the opponent. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just activate that right now. I'm using this to see if he's got, if she's got any kind of cards that might stop my thing. I don't believe she does. Sometimes you can also use cards like that to scout out and get rid of trap cards and magic cards and stuff like that. I don't think Tay is gonna have any, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. All right. None of my cards have a super high defense, unfortunately. Otherwise, I might have played it that way. Well, 1400 is not bad. Either I attack or I don't. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to mix up a little bit. I'm going to go lay this thing down face down position. And we're going to end our turn. I'm hoping Taya will change her card to attack position now that I didn't attack yet. But we're going to find out what she does. We're giving her two monsters on the field right now. So she's pretty happy. 1,000 attack there. And she does flip that one over for 1,200. It had 1,500 defense. So in fact, we actually made a good plan there. 1,000 is going to attack my 1,300. And luckily, or my sorry, my 1400 is in defensive mode here. And that's going to do 400 life points damage to Taya there. So she did make a mistake, and she's going to have to end her turn right now because the other monster can't attack either. It's not going to kill my guy. All right, so we did discover what was hidden down in face down position there. Swords of Revealing Light allows all monsters on the field to be viewed. No, all your opponent's monsters, they can't attack for three turns and all monsters that are face down at the time are now face up. All right, so that is a good card for face down monsters. Right now we have Summon Skull. If I wanted to activate that, I could throw that in there. For now, I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit more damage. First, I'm gonna get rid of all the cards that are currently on the table. So let's summon this guy in. 1300 as well for the Harpy Lady. This one also, the Feral Imp, has 1300. Now we're gonna go into battle phase. Unfortunately for Taya, because she switched her beaver warrior there, which did actually have 1,500 defensive points. I wouldn't actually have been able to kill it at this point in time in the game. She switched into attack mode, and I can actually kill its 1,200 attack points, so kind of sucks for a beaver warrior there. Now let's go ahead and clean up this one as well. Like I said, I'm just cleaning up the table right now. That way when I allow someone's skull to come in here, he has a free shot later on. Alright, so let's go ahead and complete our turn. All right, Taya's down a thousand life points. She's not, she's not feeling great about herself right now, but I think she can she can bring it back. Let's see what she throws out there. All right, Gemini Elf. This is actually one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion, as it requires no other monsters to summon in and does 1,900 attack damage just like that. So she's gonna wreck me for 600 life points, and at this point in time, I should be a little bit nervous because she has a very strong card out on the table. However, unfortunately for Taya, I have some other good stuff. I could also, I could tell her not to attack by using Swords of Revealing Light, but now is as good of a time as ever to summon Skull. We're going to bring in Summon Skull here with 2,500 attack points, we can get rid of Harpy Lady. And my 2,500 attack points will now be better than her 1,900 attack points, and I can defeat her. As well as 2,500 attack points is one of, is actually a fairly high attack, to be honest with you, it's, it's a very good attack, and we'll kill her for 600 life points damage back onto her. Alright, so now I'm sitting here with Summon Skull out. I'm gonna go end my turn. I'm assuming she's gonna lay down a card and face down a position. She's not gonna have any card that she can summon instantly to do more than 2500 damage. She might throw out a magic or a trap card, that kind of thing as well. Graceful Charity allows her to with, uh, draw three cards and discard two, I believe. Two, three. There we go. Alright. End her phase. Alright, so she laid down, laid down a face down card. 
All right, now I have a couple of regular monsters on the, on the field here for me. I'm gonna go check her graveyard real fast. She discarded some stuff. You can go check this as, check this at any time. Mostly she got rid of just basic monsters. Okay, sometimes there's some good stuff in here that you could use for yourself. Some cards allow you to go into the opponent's graveyard or your graveyard and pull out some good stuff. For now, I don't have a ton of good attacking monsters, unfortunately. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually... Let's find out what she's got right here. We're gonna go ahead and Swords of Revealing Light. It seems kind of weird, but I'm setting myself up to try and do as much damage as possible. I want to find out how much defense this has. Okay, a thousand. All right, that means my 1200 can finish that off. I'm gonna go ahead and summon this guy in now. All right, so now we can enter the battle phase. And the reason why I did the Swords of Revealing Light, she can't attack now. I now know exactly how many defensive points she has. So my 1200 will be able to finish off a thousand. And that leaves, that leaves old Summon Skull here to do 2500 direct damage to her life points, which is what I want. Anytime I can get direct damage to someone's life points, you generally try and take it in my opinion. Sometimes you don't, you try and save it for later. But for the most part, if I can get 2500, you do it as soon as you can, you know? All right, now for Taya, she's gonna definitely be putting cards in face down. She can't attack for three turns, unless she gets rid of my magic card in the back there. She might be able to, it depends on what she has. She does not, so she's gonna just throw down a face down. That's what we figured would happen. Trap hole. All right, this is gonna help, help me if she lays down a monster in attack position. That'll get rid of any monster summoned in the field. She did not lay down any monster in attack position. I can't imagine she would. The only way I could potentially bait that out is if I laid down a really weak card in attack position or a card in face down position. She might go for that bait and lay down a card. However, for now, I'm gonna go risk it once more. I'm gonna attack with 1200 points. In my opinion, if it is worth it, I will do a lot of damage to her. I won't be able to kill her, but all right, that has 1200 defense and it ends up being neutral. We don't do anything to each other. We don't take damage or kill it. Kind of sucks. I guess we don't take damage, which is the good thing. However, it would have been nice to kill it instantly right there. That means I need Summon Skull here to finish this thing off. Which means this turn I only get to do, unfortunately, 1200 damage to her. However, that's uh, that's fine. That's setting us up very well for our last turn, potentially. Let's go ahead and end this. I do have, like I said, my trap card. She's not gonna lay a card down in face, face down position, or I mean in attack position. She's gonna lay all of them down face down. There's not much she can do about that. She can't even attack me because of my swords revealing light in the back. So the game's kind of rough for her right now. All right, I got Black Pendant to come in here. That's great for me. As this does 20, or 500 more damage. Yep. This is a really great card. I can either overkill and add it to Summon Skull for 3,000 damage, which is insta-kill, or I think I, you know, I add it to one of these cards, because right now 1,200, 1,200 is 2,400, meaning I couldn't win the game right now. If I add it to Summon Skull, I will, well, Summon Skull can already attack and definitely kill this thing, but here's what I'm gonna do. Normally you add it to the strongest card, that way you're looking even scarier. And I could do that, which would instantly kill her. Or I add to one of these cards, use Summon Skull to kill whatever's there, and then these two cards can finish off the remainder. That would be another plan right there as well, because 2500 will kill whatever she's got laying down. And then 1200 plus 1200 isn't 24, but plus 500 would be enough to kill it. So I could do it either way, so I think what I will do is I will do it that, that way. It's a bit different. Normally you would never add Black Pendant or anything like that to one of those kind of cards. You're trying to add to your strongest card to make it very scary and very impossible to beat. However, I know at max she's going to lay down a 2,000 defensive monster. So I'm going to do 2,500 damage here. It was only 1,400. However, still my 1,200 would not have been able to kill that. You know, that's the good, that's the good news there. We're going to go ahead and attack this now. And as long as she has nothing else in her deck, I should be able to finish her off with these last two attacks. There we go. All right, 1,700 damage, and Taya Gardner is going down. We win victory, guys. Peace, what's up? Oops, I lost. I'll ask Yugi to, to take a look at my deck again. I'm, I'm telling you, next time I will definitely win. Yeah, whatever. Cry some salty tears, Taya. We won. We're getting this deck here. Wood remains, hard armor, or by man-eater, and the Carbonala Warrior. 
also a fusion monster, it looks like. This actually is a decent card. We will definitely be throwing that into our deck for now. Some of these other ones are not bad. Maybe 1200 defense. I think I have some other crappy cards in my deck that I could probably switch out for these. There was nothing really amazing here, unfortunately, but a couple of okay things. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. I really hope once again that you enjoyed. Please remember to leave a like, like I said before, it helps me out. And I will see you guys next time where we take on, I think it's Joey Wheeler next time. Old Joey. Alright, till then guys, peace.